Hi, good morning, everybody. This is Andrew Lau, Lo Judy President. How are you? Wow, I'm. Thank you very much for joining us our webinar. I think today will be a very good webinar. To talk about just if you lose few pounds, it's not a lot. It's only five percent. What is the benefit? Uh, I must say, I have a even including myself. Uh, I found just by doing you know dieting. But without the exercise, without losing the weight, uh, you are not as well as prepared for your, you know, managing your bad blood sugars. Uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, my story is the following: uh, I used to be two hundred and twenty-five pounds or two hundred fifty, uh, two hundred and twenty-five. That's correct, two hundred and twenty-five pounds. And at that time, my blood sugar was high. And then, uh, you know, I, my doctor was saying that, hey, you don't lose your weight. Uh, you know, it will be difficult to control your blood sugars. And, and I guess I, at that time, even I'm an ICU nurse, and I'm not really sensitive to that at that time if you don't really get it to you yet. So at the end of the day, I started realizing, well, maybe I should try. I tell you, losing weight is not difficult. It's not easy when you're aged. And I think that I had all my client that who I talk with and all that, they are telling me the same thing. It's so difficult to lose weight if you are, you know, 55 and up. And they really have to do a lot. And on top of that, I guess we also develop a habit on food and like dieting and so forth. So a lot of time when we have, you know, all these habits established, uh, like for example, eating just cereal with sugar, uh, we're not you know, you limiting that until the day you start realizing, wow, you know, my weight is up and all that. You're not really going down to put this into your really daily uh, routine to exercise, lower your diet, and then, uh, you know, uh, make sure that you, you are lower your weight. And, and so, you know, at the end of the day, we finally decided to do it and I start losing the weight from 225 all the way down to uh, 200. That's 10% of the weight. And I started seeing tremendous improve in, in my uh, blood sugar control and, and really a, a, a big difference. And, and then after that, I start moving another target to 185. And then, so now I'm moving that all the way to 195, 8, 190, 285. And the substantial improvement of this weight really drive the blood sugar down to like, you know, 90 or uh, 6.0. 6 uh, so really become very, very good. And my A1C start dropping down all the way down to six. And I stay around six. And now I'm moving between 6.1 to 5.9 around that range. So I'm continuing to really try hard. So... And you know your weight will go come back out because a lot of time, as no matter what we do, somehow either your diet or you're not enough exercise, the weight will come back up. So it is really something that is a challenge that you continue to have to work on. But for sure, the weight control is definitely, if you lower your weight, just 5% or 10%, definitely help you. And I can assure you. So today, i like to share with you what we talk about uh, because of the fact that a lot of my client has the similar issue. They start losing the weight and really at the end of the day saw tremendous benefit. If they don't, they also see the negative result, result uh, from uh, you know, the, the heavy weight. So I think today's lecture will give you a very good insight why losing weight is important. On top of that, with, with this, you will be get motivated to continue to keep it up because if you don't keep it up, weight will go back up. I will share you recently, my weight was all the way to 185. I said, whoa, it's so good. You know, I'm really doing well. But then I'm not controlling myself again. You know what? Boy, boom, your blood sugar, not your blood sugar, your, your weight was got to go up. And certainly your blood sugar will also fall, following to going up too, but not dramatically, but you're still going to go up because you're not well controlled. So very important. You have to work on it all the time. Even though you reach a target, don't lose 
the uh, sort of momentum, if you will. Okay. Ah, uh, 开头好，好高兴啦！今日咧又可以能够同大家见一面啦，讲下减五个 percent 嘅痛药对你身体有咩健康？咁我啱啱曾经讲咗咧，就系、是。當我係喺誒二百二十五磅嘅時候咧，咁嗰陣時似乎咧，我哋都唔係咁 sensitive 喎，即係猛話啊 ，OK 噶、嗯，即係自己可以都啊冇、呃、問題啦，可以係去即係撈一個 way 咁。咁但係有啲咧冇真正實行啊，所以變咗個,個血糖咧唔係降低嘅，即係變咗唔係好正。但係當一降到二百磅嘅時候咧，就見到好明顯嘅降低嘅。誒、呃，即係嗰個血糖嘅誒嘅好處啦。咁身體咧又係好處啊，啲腳唔會痛啦。咁好多好處跟埋。咁我依家落減去咧，去到一百八十五磅嘅時候，哇，仲更加去睇到更加好嘅誒、呃、結果。但係咧，人就好弊嘅，因為咧減半上嘅時候，你哇好正啊，我得啦 ，OK 啦。咁原來咧其實咧就唔得嘅，因為你一定繼續努力，係繼續保持依個磅數。咁你唔努力咧，咁又上翻去。咁我依家上翻去一百九十幾，咁又上落落嗰啲東西啦。但我睇到 A 温 C 咧跌翻去六點一、六點零、五點九嗰個位置裏邊 ，so is very good。so anyway， 今日我就分享俾大家，能夠你可以睇到咧降低咗嘅磅數有咩好處 ？OK，so、okay? today we're going to、uh, talk about、uh, really what is the health benefit、uh, and you will get. If you can able to lower just five percent, so I think it's a very good webinar, and you can share with your friends if you want to later on. And this is going to be extremely good for you to understand what is the benefit. So I will basically、uh, share this. So can uh, uh, maybe uh, Edwina, if you can able to see、uh, the the slide, give me a one, and that will be wonderful. In your、uh, in the chat or on the question, that would be good. So I know this is okay. Give me a one or go and give me one. Now,、uh, just give me a couple couple minutes. Just catch up with people that who are new coming because where people come from,、uh, Australia, New Zealand, uh, uh, U.S. Uh, somewhere, uh, Hawaii, uh, and also in. Uh, Singapore,、uh, Philippines, all the different places. So I need to catch up with them, especially、uh, some of the new people. I have some new names here which I'm not from nice with, so I'm sure they're from different places. So they're new to join us. I want to catch up with them with some of the the principle of what is diabetes. As you know, diabetic is really a chronic disease. You won't get well. You gotta really to lower your blood sugar by you know controlling your A、blood sugar by diet, exercise, and weight, and measure your blood sugar all the time because if you don't, you really don't know where you're at. Okay, and so net result, how do you control a diet? Very important. You have to cut off your white food, meaning your rice or lower your rice intake. You no more soda, no more juice, and so to drink low sugar tea will be helpful. Now, this next slide is the most important slide that everybody got to remember. I know I repeated it many times, but people would say, "Wow!" I now more and more hear it, more and more people understand it better. Now, first of all, as you know,、uh, you know,、uh, everybody when they have diabetes, they go through four stages, and it's no different with,、uh, you know, everybody have the same uh, 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 four stages. First of all, you know, first stage is your cholesterol goes up. And then it will damage your LDL cholesterol. Go up to damage the B cells. When it damage the B cell, the B cells not take sugar into uh, uh, the cells. The sugar continue goes up. LDL、uh, cholesterol continue goes up. The next stage will come in line because that is the most diff,、uh, damaging to the entire body because cholesterol and sugar mixed together, the blood become thick. So you're gonna start forming plaque. Everywhere, every entire body, your brain, your heart, everywhere. Now this is going to be a long-term process, meaning that it's not going to start one or two days. It's going to be continuous for the rest of life. So as you go on ten years, five years, you've, your blood sugar continue goes up,、uh, cholesterol continue mixing, and then next step, your blood pressure goes up. So. Net result because you're forming plaque, the the vessel becomes smaller, so your blood pressure start going up. So that's a second stage, and that is the most damaging because when you all plug up later on, all your problem will come from there. And then if you continue goes up, 
you will your blood sugar goes up, then your blood will have a, a blood cell called uh, hemoglobin, which is a red blood cell. And they will measure the amount of percentage of blood sugar attached to this hemoglobin in every three months, and they were able to see an average. So if your blood sugar percentage called A1C, hemoglobin A1C is 5.7, you are normal. But if it go beyond that 5.7, then you are a pre-diabetic all the way to uh, 6.4. So net result, you will be continue to doctor everywhere in the whole world will measure it to see are you a pre-diabetic or diabetic. Once you reach 6.5 and up, you know what? You are diabetic. So they all go through that uh, measurement and net result, uh, you know, they will see uh, whether what stage are in. So be, the fourth stage, once you get 6.4, above 6.5, now you're diabetic. Now, once you become a diabetic, you know what? You do not convert. You will always stay as a diabetic. And that is why I'm trying to make all these lectures help everybody better understand so they can able to prevent themselves if they are pre-diabetic, do not convert to diabetes, okay? Now, go ahead, talk out. Hold on, you know, say your stage. The yet go stage is I got a LDL cholesterol, so I'm saying. 咁咧會就係選埋咗啲 B 三，而到上就啲 B 三。咁佢唔帶啲糖入去，血管嚟。咁啲糖咧越積越高咯。咁啲血管咧越長越多糖嘅。咁但係咧，當你依樣嘢發生嘅時候咧，係最慘咪啦。因為糖加而誒依個 LDL cholesterol 嘅時候，個膽固醇咧，你血變咁好結啊。咁好結咧就開始濕曬，全身係咁濕。咁就好多 plaque 開始 form。咁變咗嚟講咧，依個咧就係最損壞你全身嘅。咁第二個 stage。血壓就會上升，因為個血管少咗位啊嘛，嗰啲誒全部有啲血塊塞住咗啦嘛。咁第三個 stage 咧就係佢依家開始咧，啲糖一路高咧。咁我哋咧醫生咧就會度你個糖，唔係每日幾多糖，但係佢有一個 average 嘅一個三個 average， 就係度你紅血球有幾多糖黐住喺個紅血球嗰度。如果你有七點五個 percent， 你就 normal 啦。但如果升咗過咗七點五咧，就你計前期患病者到六點四，依個 range 咧其實可以係轉翻你係去、呃呃、健康人嘅。如果你控制到低啦，或者食物中方面可以控制到，一定會幫助到你嘅。如果你控制唔到咧，去六點四以過咗後咧，就係、是、你糖尿患病者啦。咁當你過咗六點四、六點五之後咧，以後都係糖尿患病嘅咯，就唔翻轉頭嘅喎，因為血管係唔會翻轉頭嘅。咁所以變咗嚟講，一二三四啊，依個就四個 stage 嘅糖尿病病者係成日都係咁嘅，所以要好小心就希望我我繼續講多咗咧，等你瞭解咧，你就唔會變咗糖尿病病者啦。So how to do this work is very simple. Basically, we have guava leaves which、uh, delay the absorption of sugar into the gut vessels, and then you have bitter melon that is actually help. To increase the insulin sensitivity, take the sugar into the cells, and then it will dump off the sugar into、uh, urine and cholesterol into urine and also salt. So net result, you have sugar go down, cholesterol go down, and your blood pressure go down. And that's how low sugar tea work. Now, low high high dose tea, there are two products, two products. The first one is this one. The first one is this one. The first one is this one. delay 咗佢 absorb 喺個血血誒誒個骨嘅血管裏邊嘅。咁第二樣嘅咧就係個苦瓜，苦瓜咧佢係將誒嗰啲胰島素嘅誒 cells 咧係誒誒更加敏感，咁啊帶翻啲糖入去個 cell 裏邊。咁第二樣嘢嘅好處咧就係佢將啲糖同埋你個 cholesterol， 即係你嘅膽固醇同埋你鹽咧係掉個喺個尿嗰度掉出嚟。咁當你掉呢樣嘢之後咧，咁你糖降低啦。膽固醇降低啦，同埋你嗰、那個誒、呃、血壓亦都降低啊，鹽掉出嚟血壓會降低嘅。咁同埋咧，仲有一個都係糖類排毒。咁四樣嘢都係係由呢度咁做到嘅，所以一個係十分好嘅東西。So if that is the case, if we don't do anything, what could happen? Now the net result will be scary because you know why? If you don't take care of blood sugar, you affect your potential have risk of stroke. You're losing your memory. You get high cataract. You have a pancreas、uh, problem, your heart、uh, disease because the blood sugar vessels got clogging up. You have nerve damage,、uh, meaning that you cannot feel, 
On top of that, you affect it, your gut, in fact, everywhere, because the nerve is everywhere, it could be head and wherever. So you cannot feel sometimes you injure, uh, you won't get healed, and you gotta end up cut off your foot because all the plaques that plug up your blood vessels, you're gonna create a lot of blood vessels damages, and also it can affect your kidney, and you affect your kidney, you end up with dialysis. By the way, 70% of a patient with diabetes have some form of kidney disease, and they have to measure. If not, they will eventually get worse and get worse. And if you reach 30% of kidney function, you end up with dialysis. Now, many of these also have no sexual function because they cannot feel. 30% of men has no sexual function because they cannot feel. And then they, if you're pregnant, you might potentially become a, a gestation, become a diabetic. So all that, it will affect you. So you really have to take control in an early stage, not late stage, uh, able to help you not to get a diabetic complication. Uh, uh, Uh 整個腳整傷了之後 Okay, so our company has five programs basically with diet. Uh, you drink low shoe tea, teach you about low fat diet, uh, uh, also low uh, carb diet. Uh, we we'll teach you about that, uh, teach you about exercise, what to do, exercise, how do you do weight control. Uh, we have Dr. Webb to help you out and daily measure your blood sugar and hopefully your a1c will drop from 10 all the way to 5.7 so you become a normal person and you might say wow i don't think i can do that no that's not true because we have a lot of clients actually see them from a1c was over 10 all the way down to actually lower than uh 5.7 some of them got down to 5.8 and then you went 5.7 but you have to work on it it's not something you just oh by given it. it's not you have to work on it with drinking a little shoe tea. You have to do exercise. You have to control your diet. You have to control your weight. The weight become a very important factor. And and, and matter of fact, today, we'll, that's why we want to give you that lecture. Because the weight, if you have to control lower 5% or 10% of weight, you will see the substantial A1C will come down. It's very interesting. But that is some of the tips that we'll give you today. And so... Let's try to do this because you are motivated to do it. You will work, okay? Uh, go ahead, talk out. All so our client can able to lower the A1C from 10% about and drop it down to 5.7. And really depends on really how much effort you have. You gotta take efforts to be honest. So today our lecture will be very beneficial to people to give you the tips 
how your weight will help you, okay? Now, you know, if you are 200 pounds, like you're 90 kg, now, if you just lose 5%, which is only 10 pounds or 4.5 kg, what kind of health benefit you will get? And I all know, we all know, and, and, and I can be honest with you, losing weight, especially after 50 years old, is not easy. And you really need to take some kind of commitment to achieve this weight goal. You know, where I have to say, hey, I want to take, lose one pound per month. Okay, and set that as goal. If you can do that, you get a big benefit just because of just some lose, you know, five pounds or 10 pounds. You got to start seeing that. And the research actually show if you just lose 5% of body weight, you already lose half a point of uh, A1C. You know where your A1C is eight, you can go as much as 7.5 and so forth and so forth. So it is really truly a benefit for you to do this. And today we're going to talk more about how this tip is going to go to help you out. Now, go ahead, Tong Yao. Hou Gan Dan, you go to the Yiga Gauza Gau KG, why you buy Bonga. Gum Kazanet, Gia, a Siu Yok Ungo percent, just a Bong, come Sara or Sadim KG. Gum the Yiga Ming Hing a benefit. Gum you got Dimmer lost weight, like you got a Hou. 一個commitment嚟嘅，即係唔係話一個哇，我食飯係誒減啦。因為見到我哋咧係五十歲以上嘅人士咧，係減冇人唔容易嘅。第一好多人咧已經有好好習慣啦，又唔行啦。咁佢
。嗱，各位朋友，如果你係已經減低咗十磅嘅話咧，咁其實咧，依十磅咧係幫助你咧減低咗你嘅。啊，四十磅嘅壓力啊，你個 join 嘅壓力啊，因為你磅數啊，成身壓落去嘅時候，你大約四十磅嘅 join 壓力喺呢個啊膝頭哥嗰度。咁如果你少咗一樣嘢咧，個膝頭哥又唔會咁快損壞啦。同埋咧，如果你係好肥胖嘅，好多時咧好多 join 啊，就有好多 inflammation 出現。咁如果你少咗 weight 啊，即係磅數咧，嗰啲 inflammation 咧個 effect 係少咗喎。咁最後咧，你又唔會 end up 會好多所謂叫做啊，即、呃、係、就是、關節炎啊嗰啲咁嘅東西發生，因為要少咗磅呢個勞損咧，尤其是即係好多老人家一路行一路行嘅勞損就會整大，咁變咗嚟講，你個膝頭哥就會痛啦，同好多時咧就 end up 個 joint 咧變咗要，如果真係整得好壞，要開刀啦，咁啊冇制啦，咁啊好唔掂嘅，同埋個開刀啊 joint 好痛好痛嘅。啱啱我個同學開完刀之後，哇！佢話痛咗三個月啦，又幾辛苦咧。So lower your weight, you can able to feel better, and that will be probably a much better choice than get your joint deteriorated and up. You can end up with surgery and end up to、uh, all kind of disability issue like arthritis. So you don't want to do it in that boat. Now, also the next step is when you lower your、uh, weight. You actually get less chance to potentially cancer. Now the study shows that if you're overweight, actually one more thing that you might potentially is actually breast cancer, for example, because hormone uh, 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 increase and so forth. So really, if you can lower the five percent, you actually have lower chance of also getting、uh, the cancer. Now, so this is something that really at the end of the day will be you want to be seriously consider because. If you have less weight, less cancer, that's important, because cancer is something that we all don't want to be. Because if you have that, it's not something you can easily get rid of. Okay, so、uh, I would highly suggest lower your weight, get less cancer is better than just keep going,、uh, injure your weight,、uh, your joint, and, and potential cancer. So I will highly suggest that. Okay. 嗱，各位朋朋友，如果你係少啲磅數嘅話咧，咁仲有一樣風險咧，係降低咗咩啊？係 cancer 嘅風險，尤其是依個誒乳癌咧。如果你係有誒五個 percent 誒嘅降低咧，咁你乳癌個機會咧都降低咗十二個 percent 嘅，咁啊好鬼正喎，係咪？即係你 always try 降低你嘅癌症嘅風險啊。咁其他癌症咧就唔係話好多 study 住，但係依個最低咗依個明顯咧就係、是。乳癌係依個啊一個啊 study 知道咧，如果減五個 percent 咧，就降低十二個 percent 嘅乳癌風險。所以依個係一個好嘢嘅喎，因為癌症咧係千祈唔好入去依個依個依個 range， 因為依個 range 咧係好難搞嘅，同埋依個第時咧個人嘅誒係好多真係好多 suffering 啊。咁依個要記住啦。OK， so really lower your weight， you also lower chances of cancer， especially breast cancer。Five percent lower to twelve percent of cancer. Now, certainly the biggest benefit is type two diabetes. You weight loss, you really delay from pre-diabetic to become a diabetes. Now that is a major thing because you are pre-diabetic. Matter of fact, my joint people, eighty percent of people don't know they have diabetes. Okay, so or pre-diabetic rather.、Uh, so if you do not know, and you can now maybe somehow accidentally find out. Wow, you know, if you are pre-diabetic, if you can able to lose your weight, the chances of diabetes are substantially decreased. So, centered with that, you still need to do your exercise thirty minutes per day, five times a week. You have to lose eight to twelve pounds to help you delay the diabetes. All that are real. So you won't don't want don't want to get yourself a di a pre-diabetic conversion. Now, if you are diabetic, you also lower. If you lower your weight, you also lower the,、uh, the additional medication requirement. You also lower the chances of your diabetic complication, which is really important because you want to get your low A1C. If you lower your weight, your A1C will also potentially below six point point four percent. That's your new target, not seven, but six point four percent. 
you want to decrease the type 2 diabetic complication. If you are pre-diabetic, you want to make sure you remove the 6.4% all the way to 5.7%, you can. If you have diabetes now, you can able to lower it below 6.4%, and that will be a new target. And that will be something that will be wonderful to prevent your future potential diabetic complication and not become a diabetes if you are only pre-diabetic. Now, go ahead and talk about it. It's very important you know that you can use the balance of the balance of the balance of the balance of the balance. 你能夠如果你前期患病你不會變成糖尿病者 第三,食物方面又要控制 因為你會有糖尿患病者的風險,對你是認真不正的。and also, when you lower your weight, another very good benefit is also when you lower weight, you also will have lower your LDL bad cholesterol. Now, that is really cool because when you have uh, lower your weight, uh, your diet will be part of that included. Okay. And because majority of people, uh, to lower weight, they also need to have healthy diet. In other words, they can eat a lot of uh, sugar, fat, high fat. So when you lower your weight, you with a healthy diet, and also you have to do exercise, and your LDL most likely go back to a more cl lower cholesterol uh, range, which is 80 milligram per deal, or 2.8. 2.08 millimol per liter for Hong Kong. But you, your target, really, LDL should be 80 milligram per deal, okay? That is your target now. So you got to make sure you continue to do that. Now, certainly, when you have lower your weight, your LDL also will go up. And the good cholesterol, LDL is, uh, uh, H, uh, HDL is the good cholesterol. So you are at the same time also improve your HDL also go up. So the HDL cholesterol is 60 milligram per deal and or 1.55 minimal per liter. So really at the end of the day, if you lower the LDL and increase the good cholesterol HDL, wow, that is wonderful. So that's what you want to do when you lower your weight because that will all naturally come along because of your diet, exercise, uh, together, you will see your cholesterol. Now, certainly at the same time, you have to drink low shoe tea, to be honest. A lot of people drink low shoe tea, it will start seeing the LDL cholesterol go down at the same time and the HDL cholesterol goes up. So this is something that is part of the diet, drinking low shoe tea will help you lower the LDL. Now, go ahead and talk 很重要,你要知道要降低LDL cholesterol原來是對你是一個十分好的東西 
同埋咧係會做 exercise 啦。咁你 LDL cholesterol 咧就去到八十誒八十個 milligram per day 或者二點零八 milligram per liter。咁當你有依樣嘅時候咧，你嘅 LDL 風險咧就已經降低咗啦，個心臟病會機會少咗啦。但係仲有一個好處。當你降低 LDL 嘅時候咧 ，guess what？ 你個好嘅 cholesterol 亦都會上升嘅 HDL， 因為咧你而家開始 losing some body fat 啦，又做 exercise 啦，咁所以咧你個 HDL 咧就會變咗係六十個 milligram per day， 或 one point five five milligram per liter。咁呢幾樣嘢咧加埋曬咧，係對你係身體係十分健康。So losing your weight will help you improve your、uh, decrease LDL cholesterol。But also increase the good cholesterol, which is the HDL. Now that's something that is amazing, right? Because now you have low LDL with drinking low sugar tea, exercise, so forth, and increase also the good cholesterol HDL. And at the same time, you also will increase、uh, decrease your triglyceride if you lose weight. Now I this all these cholesterol are all related, by the way. Now, how do you decrease the triglyceride? Now, what is first of all, you may ask, oh, what is triglyceride? I don't understand triglyceride. Well, triglyceride is part of the fat found in your body that will eventually convert to calorie, uh, uh, rather convert to energy when you really need uh energy uh, 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 the time that you are not eating and then you're exercising. And you need to have some energy. Sometimes they will draw, you know, the uh, uh, triglyceride、uh, store as a、uh, you know fat cell will release it as the energy energy to be used. Okay. Now, the thing is this: triglyceride is actually fat found in your body first of all, and the body will convert this unused calories actually into triglyceride to be stored there. And it can be used later when you're not eating. You need energy that will come out. Okay, when you take a lot of high carbs、uh, food, for example, you will actually end up to get a lot more high triglyceride. Okay, now that is not good for you because the high tri uh, uh, triglyceride actually harden your artery and thicken the artery. And、uh, the arterial wall, which is increasing stroke or heart disease, or even、uh, get your pancreas to get pancre pancreatitis, meaning the inflammation of pancreas. And so that is not necessarily a good thing for you if you have high triglyceride. But lower your weight. Guess what? Because you take less fat food and so forth, the、uh, less calorie, less conversion. Of the calorie into triglyceride, so net result, your arterial wall become less chance to get thicker. That's why it will be good for you, and less chance to get heart attack and so forth. The normal triglyceride is about 150 milligram per day or 1.7 milligram per liter. Now, borderline high is 150 over 90, but the key is don't get high triglyceride because anything over 499 is very high, or 2.5. To five point six is high, so try to get your triglyceride to at a range of one point seven milligram per liter, one hundred fifty milligram per day is probably the best. So make sure you get keep that. Now, a lot of time people can get sign of high、uh, triglyceride already. Usually they are always obese, being that chubby, and on top of that. They usually have some form of、uh, metabolic syndrome, you know, with their diabetic, and they usually have big belly, you know,、uh, and they also have high blood pressure, high blood sugar, high cholesterol level. All that is really sign of them having high triglyceride. So high triglyceride is not a good thing for you because remember, it will cause stroke, heart heart disease, and potentially、uh, also. Uh, screw up your pancreas. So keep that in mind. High triglyceride is something that you look at how to lower it down. And certainly, dieting and exercise will be key to help you to do that. Also, now, 各位朋友，如果你降低磅数嘅话咧 ，definitely 你嘅 triglyceride 亦都会降低嘅
。咁你咩个 triglyceride 咩嚟噶？我以前都讲过嘅 ，triglyceride 咧系一啲即系喺个 fat cell 揾到嘅。咁仲有一樣嘢咧，佢係 convert 咗你啲加路里咧，轉咗去 triglyceride， 就 store 喺啲 fat cell 裏邊。當你係要用嘅時候咧，就係、是、for example 啦，我係唔係食緊嘢啦，我即係要 energy 嘅時候咧，咁佢就 convert 呢啲 triglyceride 出嚟咧，係做 energy。啱啱係即係未食嘅，即係喺啱啱食你冇真正食嘢嘅時候，你需要做運動啊，咁呢啲就全部喺嗰度做出嚟嘅。咁但係如果你食好多，卡路里亦都食咗好多啊，碳水化合物咧，佢就 convert 好多 triglyceride 入去个 fat cell 度。咁其实呢个唔系好事喎。点解咧？因为 triglyceride 咧系将你血管咧硬化咗佢，同埋将你嗰啲血管咧就嗰啲长嗰血管嘅嗰个血管嘅长咧系直厚咗佢。咁变咗嚟讲咧，又令到好多咧有心脏病嘅问题啦，有血管硬化嘅问题啦。仲有咧有個、呃呃、爆血管嘅問題啦，腦出血嘅問題啦，全埋咧中風嘅問題啦，依啲全部喺高 h y d r o g e n 嘅人出現嘅。同埋仲有咧就你個 pancreatitis 啦、呃，啊又會發炎啦，啊即係你胰胰臟啊會發炎啦，咁呢個亦都喺要出現嘅。咁所以變咗嚟講，希望咧你就繼續係將個 triglyceride 喺個 normal level 啊 ，normal 咩 normal level 啊，佢係係一點七個 minimal per liter。如果係誒、呃、美國咧就一百五十個 milligram per day， 誒、呃、如果高咧係二點五二點三至五點六咁上下啦。咁呢啲嘢全部係一定要你要控制嘅，最好就喺翻一點七 milligram per day 裏邊。咁你一定驗血嘅時候係感覺到嘅。咁如果你係已經誒點、呃、知我係有即係、就是、高 triglyceride 啦，依現象咧就多數啲人咧好出現嘅。第一肥胖啦，同埋每一個人有大肚腩嗰啲啦。同埋咧就有啊、呃，即係糖尿病者啦，同埋仲有有高血壓啦，同埋高糖啦，啊同埋話高啊膽固醇啦，依啲全部咧都係會高 triglyceride 嘅。所以所以如果你高 triglyceride 唔正仔嘅嚇，所以如果你磅數降低，即係話你係能夠降低你嘅磅咧 ，triglyceride 亦都會降低嘅。哇！依、這個好嘢嚟喎，因為你降低曬所以重要風險，好似啊。呃即係依個、啊啊、心臟病啦、啊、中風啦，同埋依家其他嘅胰臟嘅問題啦，哇 ，that will be very good。So when you decrease rate, you can actually lower triglyceride, and so so it help you to decrease your chances get stroke, uh, heart disease, and then、uh, also pancreatitis. Wow, that's real good. So watch your sight. You have big tummy, obese, and then you high blood pressure,、um, and you are diabetic. Most likely, your triglyceride will be high. So you need to do more things to it. Okay. Now, when you lower also your weight, you know one good thing: your blood pressure will also come down. Now, when you have high blood pressure, you know your heart will work harder. Boom, boom, boom. And basically, you push blood through the,、um, you know, arterial wall, and make your heart work harder. But if you lower your five percent of your weight, you know, everything become less. Then your blood pressure will also become less, coming down. You know, lower your blood pressure because you don't have to force yourself, pump so much your eng engine to work to because you excess weight. Now you lessen weight. Your heart become a little more easier. So net result, your body will become better. Plus, if you take lower salt, you know you don't take that much salt. Your body do not maintain so much fluid inside there, make your heart work far more. You're even better. So you because you lower your weight, you must eat more vegetable, more fruits, no fat diet and dairy. So improve your in that case at the end of the day your blood pressure will continue improve is better for you. So I think anybody who are diabetic usually when they go to see a doctor or even pre diabetic the doctor always first of all measure what is your blood pressure. If your blood pressure over one thirty five, well they will start watching you man because if you are diabetic you cannot be over one thirty five. You should have stay back into one twenty five range, and your systolic, uh, diastolic, uh, pressure should be somewhere in the neighborhood 
of uh, lower than uh, 80 or so. So really, at the end of the day, if you are able to exercise, lower your weight, your blood pressure definitely will come down. And I see that myself. I used to be 140, 145, and now my blood pressure is good, 125. And it's really cool in a sense that, uh, so really at the end of the day, you got to continue to drive your blood pressure with, down with lower your body weight. Now, going to talk out, Gage, you got to hit like go with water. They, you go gong day box or they hit, I will come down or gong day. Dim guy, eh? Yum, my good son, Tyler, the suited box or I'm going to show you got some. I try to hold that I could cook the hit chili. You're a suit, you're about come on, hold you a sum your engine. Come here. Tony gong day your co bong so, eh? Come here, Alex, I'm so dying. Come here, hit out a gin, we do gong day. You got a gong day, go point. Jet, I call no percent way that you go point of the brush. Pressure, it do not go point. Just five percent weight to contain the point. What a jack, right? Come, John Yala. You might be gone day, uh, hit a lot of all him on the high sick my formula. They have more come to him, not yet him, not retain this. So you had me now, but some joy, Jing Fine, go hit, jay, go hit, go some joy, you don't bomb doggy. Come, you only have you get a gone day bong, so that they have six dollar choice all a six dollar sound ball. 是低肥的食物,是控制幫助你控制你的血壓 now, this slide is very important, by the way, besides lower blood pressure. A lot of people don't realize. A lot of time when we are really chubby with a thick neck, you also have another problem called apnea, sleep apnea. Now you can see right here, this is your tongue. If you have all these tissue here, it block your airway going down to your uh, 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 trachea to actually breathing the air in. So really at the end of the day, if you are really uh, overweight and then the soft tissue will cover that throat area and that result it block your airway then you will actually stop breathing and you have to push the air to come back out to get this top soft top uh, soft tissue open it up that's why you got to start very heavy snoring and uh, you might kick your foot because of the fact you can't breathe and also uh, your brain and all the other organs get, didn't get the oxygen. And then also uh, you can potentially get stroke if you don't take care of it, you get severe, uh, don't get air. And if you lose just 5% weight, you can actually improve the apnea and you can breathe much better. You might don't even need the machines anymore. So really, Lower weight is so important. Now, a lot of people don't realize if you snore tremendously and loud noise, oh, oh, and you kick your foot all the time, uh, sometimes you don't know, your partner know, your wife know, your husband know, you need to actually talk to the doctor. Potentially, you have a, a sleep apnea issue, meaning that your tissue are so thick, covering you know, drop down at the, at the throat area that you cannot breathe. So that is something that you got to have a, you know, uh, uh, sleep apnea machine. So by lower your weight, you, that extra tissue will no longer drop to the throat to block your airway. Then you can actually improve your sleep apnea or even stop your apnea. That's why this is so important. Now, this slide is a very important educating about apnea because a lot of people don't realize they even need a machine. 
because they just snore real loud, okay? But if you snore real loud, and a lot of time you kick your foot sometimes, meaning that you might have that problem, which you need to talk to a doctor to test whether you're sleep apnea. Now, guys, friends, very important is sleep hygiene. If you are going to reduce your sleep hygiene, it could be that it improves your sleep hygiene. Why? Because this is the water and the water that comes from the water. This is the water that stops the tissue. 嘅 tissue 咧跌咗去就冚咗你個喉嚨，咁你唞唔到氣，咁你可能會窒息，但係唔會窒息啊！你個身咧話，喂，我 respond 啊，咁你就啊、呃、會咳啊，或者會係啊索翻氣出嚟啊，咁就推翻依個啊 tissue 咧，俾啲氣入嚟。咁但係依樣嘢做咗之後咧，如果你係成日都係咁咧，你人好攰啦，同埋仲有一個問題嘅風險咧，就俾你有個啊、呃、可能有個 stroke 嘅問題，即係依個中風嘅問題。同埋咧，你心臟咧亦都唔會係行得啱嘅，因為你冇氣體啊嘛。咁所以變咗嚟講咧，依個係一個重要嘅問題嘅。其實依個好多人都唔知咧，我哋有個睡眠窒息性嘅，因為你好多人都冇依個知識或者唔感覺到啦，因為自己瞓咗覺都唔知啊。但係如果你太太或者你嘅老公知道咧，會你瞓覺時你腳腳聲嘅咧，咁依個 chance of 依個睡眠窒息嘅人係好大聲嗰種咧。咁你就要即係 check check 係咪有睡眠窒息性？如果有嘅話咧，係令到你個人咧係身體用個吐氣機咧，呢、這個最最尾食吐氣機咧，係你會能夠容易啲嘅。但係當你 low 啊，即係降低磅數嘅時候咧，你肥胖呢啲 tissue 咧係少咗咧，個 chance 咧就會能夠令到你咧冇咁容易咧係有睡眠窒息症。咁因為點解咧？如果你係真係繼續落去，比如有呢樣嘢嘅時候咧。你個身體有機會咧，係將嗰啲 organ 啊攞唔到氣啊，咁你就會損壞咗，即係誒誒誒，有啲人淨即係個心臟都即係誒唔會係即係一個 normal beat 啊。咁如果你減咗誒大概五個 percent 誒磅數嘅話，五個 percent 磅數咧，你可能咧直情連個睡眠窒息性咧都唔需要嗰啲機，因為如果唔係咧，你就要成日用嗰個機咧。係將啲風氣咧，你一唔唞氣嘅時候，佢就 force 啲嘢入去，咁你就會唞到氣啦。咁但係如果你減咗磅咧，依、這個機會咧，連個機都唔需要咧，哇，好正啦！咁你就變咗係一個好人一個，唔使話做個睡眠窒息誒嘅機器，咁啊係開心啦。如果唔係，你以後都要用喎，係咪 ？OK， so if you lower your weight, you actually improve your breathing. You won't get stuck with、uh, all the Soft tissue cover your、uh, airway, so you can improve your breathing. You might not need an apnea machine or a CPAP machine. That would be wonderful because if not, you the whole life you have to use it. Okay. Plus, if you lose weight, you also have better sleep because somehow, if you have lose weight, you are not obese. You tend to have a better sleep because you somehow you if you lose weight, you tend to have maybe more relaxed, and on top of that. If you can sleep seven hours, will give you perfect sleep rather than sleep longer. Because when you can sleep longer, your weight increase. Actually, that's not going to help you. So keep that in mind. Sleep better and longer.、Uh, if you lose,、uh, if you lose some weight. Now, 好重要咧，當你瞓覺咧，如果你係少咗磅咧，其實你瞓得舒服啲嘅。因為瞓得舒服啲嘅時候咧，你就因為好多時咧，當你肥胖嘅時候咧，就好多時咧。係唔夠啊瞓嘅，咁、呃、就變咗咧，你唔夠瞓咧，你肥胖就更加大啲嘅，即係好 catch away too 嘅。咁身邊嚟講，如果瞓得好咧，你肥胖亦都唔會啦。咁如果你少咗五磅咧，咁你亦都瞓得好啲。咁如果你係瞓嘅時候咧，最好瞓七個鐘頭，就唔係瞓得多喎，只係瞓七個鐘頭嘅啫。咁就係瞓，因為多啲咧，其實咧就令到你個卡啊加落去多啲啊 ，keep 得。啊，讓都整整多咗俾你咧，就 make sense 嘅。咁最好咧就瞓七個鐘頭，咁你 weight 又唔會高 up 啦，咁又更加令到你更加係舒舒服服。So keep in mind, you, if you are not enough sleep, you could actually become obese and weight goes up. So lose five percent、uh, percent weight, you lose, you you lead you to sleep better, and you sleep seven hours, you get good rest, and make sure that your weight doesn't go up. And when you have lost Weight, 
and actually your mood is also goes up. Because what happened is you also feel yourself better body image, you feel good, ah, I lost some weight, look better, improve your sleep, you can be more alert. And also people, especially if they lose weight, less chances to get depressed. Because if people even be as worse as depressed people, if they lost 8% of their weight, they actually continue to feel better for two years. That's what study shows. So you gotta have really better mood when you lose weight. I got to talk you got to high uh 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 Gotta so lose weight actually give you better mood. Now, one more thing is very important. When you lose weight, you want to make sure decrease inflammation because a lot of weight is also increase all kind of cap chemical to increase inflammation, meaning that these inflammation can lead to things like arthritis, heart attack, heart disease, stroke. If you have 10% lose of weight, lower this, uh, weight loss, the inflammation uh, with all this chemical also decrease. So you actually decrease all the various potential uh, serious illness. And that's really cool because, you know, I don't know anybody have arthritis because we are fat or you chubby. Arthritis tend to be a very painful experience and not only just potential heart attack and all that good stuff that come along. So try to lose weight because end up you will also decrease the whole body inflammation. Uh, Um 病,好像關節炎啊那些是降低的。So it's really good if you can lower your weight, it will decrease inflammation and decrease your uh, body uh, in sense forming arthritis, heart disease, stroke, and potentially uh, other problems. <coughs> also, if you're overweight, you also tend to have less sex. The reason is because you don't feel good about yourself, overweight size, even you feel with the mood, but somehow you're not going to do it. So with less weight, you tend to feel better yourself and you tend to have better desire and you tend to have, you know, uh, mood to do sex. Uh, and also you can able to have better sex. So I think that's something that uh, overweight, if you lower your weight, this is one big improvement for a lot of people. Now, if you sing some good, you got to have a good song. So, you got to have a good song. 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 You got 變了來說,你有feel also in a sense that when you lower your weight, you also lower 
uh, decrease the insulin resistance because when you have high body fat, especially people with high body fat, big belly, somehow you have more insulin resistance to come along with this high body fat, with especially big belly. Uh, you, uh, really, uh, the big belly is tend to have more high insulin resistance. And that's the reason why when you go, if you're diabetes, when you go to see a doctor, they tend to measure your belly as it really increased. Because the reason is the studies show if you have a big belly, you tend to have more insulin resistance. But if you lower the weight, the set insulin resistance tend to be less, uh, less effective. I mean, less insulin resistant. And the insulin tend to uh, have more uh, effect insulin for you. So it's really important. Don't get yourself with a big belly, okay? Your big belly is increased insulin resistance. 各位,如果你是每天有大肚子的 自己會降高,所以不要吃,所以你一定希望你不要有大肚子,降低你的胰島素的抗拒,那麼更加好,是不是? Decrease your weight, decrease insulin resistance. Now, we talk a lot about you know, losing weight, so how do you do it? First of all, you got to have good diet to lose your weight, right? So how does it do? So you basically, I always suggest half is all vegetable or fruits that eat in well, every meal. Plus you have quarter plate is gonna be your lean protein, like fish, uh, eggs, seafood, and nuts. And then a quarter plate will be some of your brown rice, oatmeal, your oak product instead of white rice, bread, or heavy starch, car food, okay? So if you can do that, your diet definitely will help you to lower your weight. So very important now, okay? The diet has to go first to lose your weight. Now, I told you, I've said it before. If 還有三個加進去第二件事就是你的全部的瘦肉、魚、或者肉這些全部放在一個盒子裡 或者白麵包,如果白麵包,其他粉類的東西,就不要吃那麼多了,因為這些全部是高碳水化合物的。如果你做到這件事,你的磅數一定會慢慢慢慢降低的。Okay? Now, besides diet, importantly, you got to have exercise. So you exercise, you're going to have 150 minutes per week exercise, you have to have 30 minutes of uh, what well, the 150 minute week exercise in there, usually every day at least or every other day. Uh, how you do it, you gotta walk or bike ride or step going up the step, uh, or some strengthening exercise with a barbell doing this. So, all that will help you to actually lower your weight at the same time. Exercise has to be part of your lower weight regime. Now, certainly, if you have never done exercise, you've got to ask the doctor what kind of exercise will fit for you because some of the, you, your people might be really have high problems, so you have to get the exercise that really work and fit for you. Uh, exercise 每個星期是做150分鐘的 exercise 
行啦，或者用个踩单车啦，或者行楼梯。如果你系需要有啲 strength exercise 咧，咁你搵个两个爸表咧系腰个共咧，咁最紧咧系帮助你咧个心脏嘅东西啦，同埋 increase 嘅 muscle tone 啦，呢、这个好紧要嘅。咁同埋呢，如果你話我全俾你做 exercise， 咁可能呢，你要 check 下醫生，喂，你做個 exercise fit 你呀、啊，譬如你嘅心臟病啦、啊，咁呢個呢，就即係 check check 醫生少做你啱嘅 exercise 啊。So weight loss must get your exercise， and your exercise prior best with walk bike step master will be really helpful。So today we'll talk a lot about what Just minus five percent of your weight. Like if you're two hundred pound, just minus ten pound or four point five kg. What kind of health benefit can help you? Wow, that's a lot. The health benefit is one: you make your joint feel better. You don't get all the pain on the joint. Lower cancer risk. You can also prevent type two diabetes. You can also lower your LDL bad cholesterol. You also decrease the triglyceride, also bad for you because you uh, create all kind of vessel hardening. Lower your blood pressure, improve your sleep apnea. That is really important because don't forget, a lot of people don't even know they have apnea, sleep apnea, because with that you can actually increase chance of a stroke or irregular heart rate. Plus, you can also have uh, sleep better, and you actually become sleep better and also sleep longer if you have. Lower your weight, you also have better、uh, mood. You decrease inflammation the whole body because the fat cells, your lot of fat cells increase, a lot of chemical that increase all the inflammation like arthritis, heart disease, all that come along. You can have more sex because you feel better, and threes also decrease insulin resistance. And your diet, you can,、uh, you gotta have good diet to lose your weight. And I said, half vegetable, one quarter protein, one quarter is your、uh, brown rice and stuff like that to help you to control your weight. And on top of that, you have to exercise because exercise keep losing your weight. Plus, at the end of the day, you have to low, drink a lot of low sugar tea because low sugar tea definitely help you to、uh, before eat diet eat your food, drink a lot of low sugar tea, then you actually eat less because you fill up your stomach already. So this will give you sort of overall how to lose your weight, and I hope that all of you will start doing it and track yourself every day. What is your weight is going to be, and set your target goal, one pound or two pound per month, realistic goal, and eventually you see you keep going down. You know what? Your A one C will go down. 嗱，各位朋友，今日講咗咧好多嘢咧，係對你好十分幫助嘅。第一，如果你二百磅，你淨係減五個 percent 已經十磅咯，嗰度即係四點五 kg 啦。其實你有好多 benefit 嘅。第一個咧就係你啲 joint 唔會痛啦，即係你骨折唔會痛啦。第二，少啲機會有 cancer 啦。第三咧，你會誒二型嘅糖尿病咧唔會有啦，或者你如果依家前期啊唔會住咗誒真正嘅糖尿病啦。你 LDL cholesterol 會降低啦，你 triglyceride 亦都降低啦，你血壓亦都會降低啦，亦都幫助你瞓覺啦，你瞓覺亦都 feel better 啦，你唔會有依個睡眠窒息性啦，同埋咧你亦都會係瞓得好啲同埋長啲啦，同埋你亦都個 mood 方面咧，你人嘅誒、呃、感受啊都會係誒、呃、情緒上有好好嘅心情啦，同埋咧亦都會嗰啲減。少咗炎症嘅發生啦，因為如果你要肥咧，好多炎誒、呃、肥嘅 cells 咧就會彈出嚟啦，咁啊誒影響咗你成身嘅問題咧，就好似誒即係誒依個誒誒、呃、心臟病啊，同埋當你係誒、呃、關節炎啊，依全部係嗰啲 inflammation cell 走出嚟嘅，咁同埋咧就係、是、可以性生活又好咗啦，同埋亦都降低咗胰島素嘅誒、呃、抗拒啦。咁就誒咁嘅好事嚟喎，因為你移咗好用多啲，你糖帶翻入去個血管裏邊喎。咁點啊？如果點降低磅數啊？第兩嘢，第一就係要你食方面，一般就係要食菜嘅，一四分一咧係食你嘅 protein 嘅蛋白質嘅東西，即係乳啊嘅東西啦。一般咧一四分一咧就係食你嘅啊所謂嘅誒誒誒誒 starch 啦，即係你嘅。
誒、呃、啊碳水化合物嘅東西。咁當然咧食更加好嘅食麥皮啊，食啲紅米啊，嗰啲咧會係變你係幫助你好多啊 ，brown rice 啊啲好事嚟嘅。咁同埋咧，最緊要做 exercise。如果你做 exercise， 一個禮拜一百五十分鐘，每日如果做咗三分鐘咧，會對好時行啦，同埋依個誒、uh, bike 啦，即係踩單車咧，會係 very good 嘅。So I hope today we have a good 啊、uh, a very good 啊、uh, you know overview why lower weight makes all the difference for you. I hope that you guys can have this 啊、uh, and start planning yourself. One pound to two pound per month, that is my target. And after six months, you already lose how many pound? Wow, could be ten pound, and your A one C will go down. Wow, isn't that great? And your A one C go down does mean your blood sugar will be better control, and you want to make sure your A one C will go below six point five, the lower six point four six. And I see it for myself. A lot of my clients have done it. And they also do it, so that would be wonderful.、Uh, today, I don't know any more questions that、uh, people would like to ask. I would like to、uh, answer this time.、Uh, I think that、uh, I appreciate、uh, Faye to come in to listen to the webinar. I, I really enjoyed、uh, having you to come in, and、uh, a lot of my friend from uh, Hawaii uh, came uh, to listen. A lot of my friend from. Other places like Los Angeles,、uh, Vancouver, all the different places. That would be wonderful. They can able to at least have a better understanding why、uh, just losing weight become really a critical and important step to lower the blood sugar, and that is really true. If you lower your blood sugar, definitely it will good. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate、uh, all your help.、Uh, thank you, Wayson, to listen. I'm、uh, looking forward to see you next seminar. Take care. Bye bye. Thank you.